For those of you that are always going around with your phone not charged, you are always looking for a charger to borrow or looking for a place to quickly plug your phone and charge, I have a message for you today. This is what we call Jewish jacking. Welcome to Cyber Culture Interviews. Today we are looking at a very common uh, cyber security attack that is on rampage right now all over the world. And it's been in the news recently that the way it's been... Uh, operating or the incidents around Jewish jacking is on the increase. So basically what is Jewish jacking? So Jewish jacking simply means you plug your phone to charge in a socket that is supposed to charge your phone and instead of your phone being charged, something is happening or your data is being you know, synced to another device or synced to someone else. So and what is the purpose of it? Basically what they are doing or what this does is that it exposes the data in your phone you know, to people or to the person, to the malicious actor in this case, to the person that is trying to access your phone. So what they do is that when your phone is connected, they have access to your phone, they can either steal your data or implant a malware inside your device. So when you see a free spot, you just, you know, especially for those of you who are traveling, you are traveling on a long flight and you didn't come up with your power, you didn't go with your power bank, your, your phone is not fully charged, you don't have your own personal charger, you are in danger. Of being juice jacked. So juice jacking happens a lot these days. So when next you are traveling and you see a socket, a USB port, and you look at your phone and you say, ah, your phone is low and you want to quickly charge, it will do you good to inspect the charging port carefully. And in most cases, you don't have access to inspecting the charging port safely. So what you just do, just look for your charger, your, I mean your electrical, your normal charger and look for it an electrical source where you can plug your phone and charge. But if you must use that USB port or charger, maybe you don't have an electrical charge or you don't have your charger, one of the things you do, ensure that your phone is properly secured with antivirus. Ensure you are, your phone is one that runs updates regularly. Make sure that you, you can turn off your phone. You know, turning off your phone, if you are not sure that your phone is the type that when you turn it off, it can no longer sync with a laptop or with another device. Don't do that. But if you are sure if you turn off your phone completely, there's nothing that goes on. Yes, you can turn off your phone. Otherwise, also another, another thing that you do is that um, you put PIN, PIN codes, you know, code. Those phones, you know, for phones that you cannot use without, you know, inputting your passcode or PIN can also be very helpful. Like in my phone, sometimes, you know, when you want to open any application, it will ask you to give a PIN code or follow the pattern or you do something, you know, include a password for you to be able to access those applications. That also helps, but those are not true. The fundamental thing you should do is to avoid using these ports in at, at all. Avoid using this port. But if you cannot avoid using this port, make sure that you have, you know, all those other uh, form of protection in your phone. Yeah, set pin code, you know, put password or passphrases to every application turn off your phone completely, you know, and ensure that you have regular, uh, your phone is regularly updated, you know, your, your updates, uh, updates on your phone are regularly done every time. So how do you know when you have been attacked or how do you know if your phone, you know, has been infected or has been just jacked? So when you, you are using your phone normally, maybe on a trip, your phone is working normally and after plugging, you just suddenly, you know, felt, okay, let me charge up my phone a bit. After charging up your phone, you suddenly found that your phone started slowing down, you know, it started freezing, hanging, some things, you know, your battery is suddenly just running down after you just charge. There's a tendency that you've been just charged. You need to run updates, you know. The main thing that solves such problems is to actually do a factory reset because you don't know if a malware has been inserted or installed on your phone. So you do a factory reset. Don't try to back up your phone at that point in time because if you back up your phone at that point in time, you are backing up the malware. So when you restore it, you are still restoring you know, the malware into your phone. So usually do a factory reset. If previously you have been backing your data up into the, uh, into the cloud, you won't have any problem resetting and restoring your data from the cloud. Not at that point that it has been just jacked, you are now quickly trying to back up. So regular backing up your phone is another thing that will save you because you don't know the day you will enter into or you will be hacked. Let me put it that way. You don't know that day that you're going to be hacked and then you are now going to be looking for solution. That is the wrong time to back up your phone because something is already in your phone. Whatever you back up at that time is an infected backup. So ensure you have backup. So restore, do a factory reset for your phone. It will clear everything. Then you have your phone, you know, back 
you know, and also you can run a scan, you use an antivirus to run a scan, you know, that means you have to disconnect the phone, connect it and run a scan from the system that, you know, has antivirus that can help you scan your phone, you know, because if whatever you are doing inside your phone at that point in time, your phone is already infected. So make sure the next time you see a free port or a port or whenever you are traveling, carry your charger, carry your power bank. If you are, if you are going to look long distance, preferably just carry your power bank. Avoid stories that touch. This jacket is common today. A lot of people are harder to steal your phone. So be protected. This video is to send you a warning to help you, you know, to get protected. Once again, welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. Like, please share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.